Today I'm going to take this IoT One board from ST Micro and connect it to the IBM Watson. So let me connect the board. I have mongooseos.com website opened. Go to developers documentation. Click on cloud tutorials, IBM Watson. And follow the guide. First is complete quick start guide, steps one to seven inclusive. Open the quick start and follow the steps. First is download and install MOS tool. I have it done already. Step number two, start MOS tool. I open my terminal, type MOS without any argument and that starts MOS UI. Step number three, install USB to serial drivers. So in my case, that's not required. Step number four, create an app. Press Ctrl N and type enter. Ctrl N, enter. That clones demo-js application. Step number five, build an app. So make sure the board is selected and then type MOS build. I select STM IoT one board and type MOS build. So this starts a build process on the online build server. Alternatively, you can build locally if you have a Docker installed on your workstation. So the app is built now. Go to step number six, flash the firmware. Make sure to select the port and type MOS flash, enter. Okay, we see boot messages from the device on the serial console and go to step number seven, the last one, configure Wi-Fi, MOS Wi-Fi network name and password. Let me copy this command and paste it here and change network name to my network name and password. Enter. So this configures my device and device reboots now. My device got the AP address 1.21. Okay, so we've completed uh, the quick start. I have my device uh, connected to Wi-Fi. So now let's proceed with the IBM Watson provisioning. So this single command provisions to Watson quick start, MOS Watson IoT setup. MOS Watson IoT setup, enter. Okay, we are done. Another thing we need to do is to switch off Mongoose OS RPC support in order to not to confuse the quick start dashboard MOS MOS config dash set RPC dot MQTT dot enable equals false. Okay. Now navigate to Quick Start Cloud dashboard and enter here a device ID. It is printed on the console here, device ID. So let, let me copy it and paste into this text box. Click go. All right, so I see that my device is connected. So now what I want to do is to send some messages on the button click. So the button click handler is inside the default firmware that we've built. But one thing we need to change is the topic to publish to. Let me switch back to the documentation. I have to open fsinit.js and change the topic name. So I click on the folder button here open fs in it.js and let me change the topic to the one specified in the doc so I copy the whole line and paste it here okay 
Now, copy this file back to the device. MLS put fs init.js and reboot the device. MLS call sys.reboot. Switch to the IBM Watson. Wait until the device is connected back and press on the user button. So we see how the graph changes. If I open the device log, we see that uptime is sent and it gets plotted on this graph. If you like this video, please click on like below and tell others who might be interested in it. Thanks for watching.